I think everyone's got a bit of Rambo in them. You know, um, you know, he's kind of he's a loner. He's a he's a person that lives on the edge. Is basically a good person, but when pushed, um, you know, it's the classic revenge or it's the classic. Uh, you know, when somebody's, it's a sim, it's basically a simple allegory, you know, he's, it's, you know, good versus evil, but he, you know, he turns into evil, he turns evil onto the evil doers. Um, Rambo's a, you know, it's, it's been, Rambo's a term that's been coined around the world for military aggression, or it's, it's, it's been, you know, people have used it. You know, whenever somebody wants to describe a, an aggressive person or somebody that's, uh, you know, uh, somebody that a killer or a, you know a military um, figure that's that you know that that doesn't take no prisoners. Um, but I think Rambo's. I think it's it's more of a tale of a of a of a man that's just. Uh, a normal man that got thrown through the mill that served his country and came out the other end a different person he came out the other end a person that's been uh, troubled um, his mind has been you know confused the, the fog of war who's he fighting for what side he's on I think a lot of times people think like that in real life well I think he's changed I think he's he's come to terms um, I don't say it comes to terms, but I think uh, you know all the years of combat have kind of come to a head in his mind. Uh, I think he's uh, uh, you know he's, he struggles with post-traumatic stress disorder. He's um, he's finally realizing the carnage and the atrocities that he's seen in war, and you know it's it's relevant in today's current climate with you know all the you know the satellite wars that we have on and soldiers coming home and you know I don't think uh, post-traumatic stress disorder was really paid attention to other than the last few years and I think Rambo in this Rambo I think Sly's addressed that you know with the script he, you know he addresses soldiers coming home from war they don't just come home from war and forget everything so in this last Rambo I think we've I think we've addressed the issues that are you know currently affecting soldiers now I think with Rambo, uh, as he's gotten older, um, as he's, you know, settled into uh, like a bucolic Arizona lifestyle, things have, you know, when things have settled down, his thoughts have weighed heavily on him, and um, you know, the flashbacks come over and, and take over his night, his uh, dreams, and his not become nightmares. Hopefully, there's a bit of everything. There's a bit of nostalgia in there, you know. Hopefully, there's there's a bit of action for the Rambo fans. I mean, he does go Rambo on a lot of people, um, but also it's uh, you know over the years people have taken the journey with Rambo. You know, different generations because it's been. I think the first Rambo came out in 1980. So it's, uh, audience, you know, you'll have an older audience. Hopefully, that will have seen the first one to. A younger audience who will maybe watch the previous movies, but it's 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 like a journey that that takes you through different stages and different um, times in Rambo's life. Different, you know, each movie he's hit some kind of political uh, hot point, be it Afghanistan, be it um, you know uh, 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 drug trafficking. You know, he's gone through a um, you know prisoner of war. So it, it, Rambo always has its foot in some kind of political issue or, or a relevant, you know, topical issue. And this one's no different. So hopefully, um, you know, people will give the Rambo fans what they want to see.